After Kurt Cobain died, Dave Grohl hit the studio to record songs he'd written over the years. He wanted people to think that songs were by a band, so he called the project Foo Fighters, though he recorded all the instruments and sang on the album himself. He knew he'd need a band to play the songs live with, so he recruited Pat Smear, Nate Mendel, and William Goldsmith, and they made their live debut in February of 95. Foo Fighters came out a few months later and peaked at number 23. They worked on the next album as a band, but after Grohl re-recorded the drum parts, Goldsmith left and was replaced by Alanis Morissette drummer Taylor Hawkins. Smear left soon after too and was replaced by Grohl's former bandmate Franz Stahl. The Color and the Shape peaked at number 10, and when they started working on its follow-up, they split with Stahl and thus became a trio. There's Nothing Left to Lose came out in 99, and Chris Shiflett came in as a second guitarist. There were some tensions between the band while working on the next album, and around this time, Grohl also joined Queens of the Stone Age, but one by one came out in 2002. Foo's released two more albums before Smear rejoined full-time to work on 2011's Wasting Light, which was the band's first number one in the U.S. Then came Sonic Highways, Concrete and Gold, and Menace at Midnight, which was their last album before Hawkins died in March of 2022. Their new album, But Here We Are, will be out June 2nd, and Josh Fries was recently revealed as their new drummer, although Grohl played drums on the record. Hope you enjoy this.